many of us have bitten into a jalapeno pepper and been shocked by the heat of the spicy vegetable. But the hottest pepper on record is a whopping 440 times hotter than a jalapeno. But this scorching hot pepper did not evolve naturally. It was developed. Why would anyone develop a pepper that was that hot? And how did it involve a euphoric feeling, chili heads, addiction recovery, and a love story? Keep watching for all the spicy details. Peppers were first cultivated 6,000 years ago throughout Central and South America. Their use eventually spread to North America, where they were discovered by Spanish explorers. Today, they're grown in almost every country in the world. Peppers are known for the heat they generate when eaten, measured through a scale known as Scoville heat units. A jalapeno has an average rating of 5,000 Scoville units. The Tabasco pepper can be as high as 50,000 units, and the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea is a whopping 1.46 million units. Whew, that's spicy. I'm sweating just thinking about it. Ah, is my tongue bleeding? At one time, the Scorpion Butch was the hottest pepper on record, but not anymore. We'll reveal that one later. The chemical capsaicin causes the hot sensation. Your mouth signals the brain that it's being burnt. The brain reacts by releasing dopamine and endorphins, which produce a high. People eating peppers that rate high on the Scoville scale often report feeling euphoric and energized. This may have contributed to the rise of chili heads. Chili heads is the name given to competitive hot chili eaters and people who challenge themselves to eat hot chilies for their online audiences. Like this guy, Dustin Atomic Menace Johnson. In 2019, he challenged himself to eat a large bowl of the world's hottest pepper. He emptied the bowl, eating an incredible 122 peppers. For some people, eating crazy hot peppers has become a form of entertainment. There are prizes of up to $1,000 for competitive chili eaters. But it's not just eaters that are crazy for peppers. Growers are too. One such grower is Smokin' Ed Curry. Like many of his fellow growers, this South Carolina native has been obsessed with peppers since his first fiery taste. In 2001, after struggling with alcohol and drug addiction, he began experimenting with peppers. He studied them for their anti-cancer properties and used his new obsession as a means of staying away from his former addiction. At an AA meeting, he wooed a woman with a fresh batch of homemade peach mango salsa made of peppers he had cultivated. That's hot. The lady was so impressed that she married him and she encouraged him to start a business selling his hot sauces. Today, the Pucker Butt Pepper Company, I'm not making that up, sells sauces and salsa worldwide. His farm has been called the largest organic pepper farm in the United States. And he holds the record for growing the world's hottest pepper, the Carolina Reaper, with a Scoville heat rating of a staggering 2.2 million units. Wow, I think I'd rather take a bite out of the sun, but that's just me. But who knows how long the Carolina Reaper will hold that record? Right now we're calling it Pepper X. Ed Curry has developed Pepper X, which could be the next record-breaking hottie. Its Scoville rating has yet to be confirmed, but it's said to be as high as 3.18 million units. That's almost 1 million units higher than the Reaper. All right, enough's enough, people. Although there are some people who enjoy the challenge of eating mega hot peppers, the sensation can be intensely painful. And my mouth is on fire. It can also lead to headaches, excessive sweating, and serious heartburn. More extreme reactions could include stomach cramps, vomiting, and intense diarrhea. I think I'll stick to bell peppers, thank you very much. Mm. It's tangy like a pepper, but crunchy like a bell. They're rated at, uh, what, zero? 
Now that we've tasted the world's hottest pepper, let's discover whether crickets are the food of the future on another episode of Origins of Food.